Hello everyone, welcome back to Child of the Kingdom. I have quite a number of new subscribers, so hello everyone, welcome, oh my god, I'm so excited. With your girl Princess, my name is Princess, and what we do on this channel is we deconstruct the word, and we kind of under come to an understanding, we learn from it, we eat it, we consume it, we enjoy it, and we talk about it down in the comments, so be sure to thumbs up the video, and leave a comment about what you thought about what I'm talking about. Recently, I've done a lot of videos talking about sin, how to overcome lustful thoughts, how to overcome masturbation, how to overcome addiction, lots of different topics about sin. And it's great because we're kind of addressing these topics that have a lot of shame attached to them and we're debunking that stigma. So that's the positive, okay? That's positive. However, we don't want to hyper obsess over sin, right? Our obsession is with Jesus Christ and Christ conquers sin. He's defeated all sin in the grave. And so our obsession isn't with sin, but with Christ. We're Jesus freaks, you know what I mean? We love God. And so I want to make sure that we aren't obsessing over sin, but rather really focusing on the Lord. What can happen, and this is a strategy of the enemy, what can happen is when you feel so guilty about your sin, you start to now rely on yourself to overcome your sin. I'm going to use the example of masturbation. If you're struggling with masturbating often and it's something that you're feeling guilty about, oftentimes you're going to start using your own man-made tactics to combat masturbation. But we already know that we're not warring against our flesh, we're not warring against flesh and blood, but about against spiritual wickedness in high places and so our might isn't enough to defeat the sin we need Christ to defeat the sin but instead we try to come up with these outrageous things you know whether we jog anytime we feel like go like to doing a sin or I don't know or relying on ourselves to just have the self-confidence and the self-control and the self-power to overcome the sin that's the issue with sin that it is that we cannot overcome it and so the only way you're going to defeat your sin and overcome your sin and stop with these addictions isn't focusing so much on the sin but focusing more on christ and we see in matthew chapter 2 it matthew chapter 3 sorry it describes that when christ came he came to ignite a fire in us he came to allow the holy spirit to be with us he came to ignite kingdom life in us and he came to change us inside and out okay that's what scripture says that Christ Jesus came John the Baptist was telling the people that one is coming who is greater than I and he that is coming is going to ignite a fire in you ignite kingdom life in you who's going to um, give you the Holy Spirit and who's going to change you inside out okay and so Jesus Christ is the only one who can change us inside out Jesus Christ is the only one who can ignite a fire within us and scripture says that Jesus has come to clean house our bodies are a house we are the temple of God and so if Jesus came to clean house he came to clean us and it also says that he came to put everything true in its proper place and to throw away all that is false okay so sin is false right perverse action is false these things that we battle are false and so what we need to do is fixate our lives more on Jesus we know we have sin we fall short of the glory every day we know we're struggling with things whether that be lying or whether that be pornography or whether that be addiction whatever that is we know that we're struggling with things and we know that there are things in this house that need to be thrown out there are things in this house that are pretty trash there are things in this house that are sinful and a house that is divided is a house that cannot stand therefore we look to Jesus to say Lord you said that you would put everything that is true in its proper place but you would also throw out that is what is false and so Lord I surrender myself to you I worship you in spirit and in truth I pray to you in in spirit and in truth I, I commune with you in spirit and in truth that you would put everything that is true in its proper place and everything that is false would be thrown out of me that would be removed from me and so our focus shouldn't be so much on okay I masturbated four times this week today I'm gonna just hold on tight and I'm not gonna do you know what I mean or how can I stop what more tactics can I come up with what other man-made strategies can I come up with what other mantras can I come up with our reliance to overcome these things should be on Christ it's not like Jesus said go figure it out and then come to me when you're straight you know thank God thank God that Jesus didn't say that that's not the the message here it's that Jesus Christ is going to free you the Bible says that the yoke over our necks has been broken we are not in bondage anymore we are not enslaved anymore and so the things that are false the things that that oppress us when we fixate our gaze on Christ Jesus we will be set free from these things 
okay and so your focus should not be on being afraid that you sin but being so grateful that there is this great God who allows you who wants you who is excited for you to just look at him and he will remove everything that isn't him out of you okay and so I really want to encourage you to not be so hyper focused on your sin of course acknowledge that you fall short you are not a God acknowledge that you fall short acknowledge that the flesh and flesh and the spirit war on a daily basis acknowledge and practice dying to your flesh every single day but when you fall short this is not the time to condemn yourself and this is not the time to push yourself down but this is the time to look at jesus and say you said you're going to put everything in its true and proper place you said everything that is not you will be burned out of me you are going to remove it and so lord i surrender myself i'm going to worship more i'm going to pray more i'm going to read my bible more i'm just going to dive into you because you are the only one who separates truth and false falsity right Okay, so I hope that I, I kind of sparked up some sort of interest. Really, the key to overcoming sin is Jesus Christ. Praying to Christ, learning about Christ, reading the Bible about Christ, communing with Christ, worshiping to Jesus. You know what I mean? Like, these are the strategies you're going to use. Less hyper-focus on the sin and more hyper-focus on Christ, okay? So I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoy this video. Leave your comments down below. More to come. Be blessed.